Right, so part one, you saw easy peasy getting this thing up. What we're going to do now, we're going to connect the inner tent to the fly sheet. Like I said at the beginning in the introduction, you may choose not to do that ever again. You may choose when you come to put it away, airing it all out, pack it away for your next trip, you may choose to keep those two parts connected. So when you come out again, all you have to do is just put it up. You don't have to do this part. So, how do you do it? It's so simple. You got male buckle and female buckles inside. All you're doing is just simply clipping, I suppose you could call it the ground sheet. Clipping the ground sheet in place and then you find that you have a series of bars and loops. These loops follow the contour of the tent. As you'd imagine, they come up here, up there, and across the top. So that's all we're going to do. It's a bit dark in there. I don't think we're all going to fit in there. I'll do it, and we'll just see how simple it really is. Velcro on the doors, on the flaps. We're just going to open her up. I think I'm going to tie this top bit in into the porch. So, a bit of shock cord. Another bit of shock cord. So I'll bring you in and show you before I actually clip it all into place. That might help. Right. Let's head on in. I would say let's head on into the cave. <laughs> but that's somewhat different altogether. Right. We've got buckle there, buckle there. Buckle there, buckle there, there, and there. So you can see running up here, we have these loops. That's what I am going to clip into now. So we'll bring you back, put you back over here. And you can see me rubbaging around in this tent for the next three, four minutes. Right. Might not even take that long, to be honest with you. Right. How's that? We're back in shot. Right. Let's do this. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to orientate this and find my narrow part. Which is... Get this right. Oops. Yep. So I'm heading on in with these two clips first. See you in a minute. Right. So, first one. Clip. Second one. Clip. Right. Now, I'm going to start at this end, putting in a few loops and hoops. Like I said, you only really have to do this once. You may choose never to do it ever again. But you'll save a lot of time the next time you're, uh, you're heading on out. Right. So... We're about halfway up it now. Gonna clip this one. And then the other side. Up 
we go. Right. Sticking the central loops up now. Right, we're going to do these loops going over here now. Like I said, it doesn't take you that long to do. Right, nearly ready to come on out. Bye bye! <laughs> right. All I need to do is just fit these loops and click these two buckles in place. And that's it. Job done. It is a lovely tent. I really do enjoy getting out in this tent. That's all our loops and hoops. Oh, I lied. It's here. Another buckle. Last loop going on now. And final buckle. Clip. Stop the clock. Right, that's us connected. That's us in. That's it done. Um, so I'll show you the finished article. There we go. Right, like I said, I haven't guide her out. There's no tension in the tent at the moment. If you want to put the tension in, that's absolutely grand. Right, so we're all in place. You can see we have this porch area for your excess kit. Big wide opening there. How cool is that? There's an inner and an outer. So you can. Let's get you back in shot. I'm going to open all the way up. There you go. Home from home. You've got pockets, as you'd expect, running up and down. One vent, two vents, three vents. She's a lovely tent. Well, hopefully I've done her justice. Guys, girls, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you on the, uh, the next demonstration video. Right, bye. Oh, shall we just listen to that for a minute?